In this tutorial, I'll take you through some of the ways that you can create queries over the Grateful Dead uh, performances database that comes with OrientDB. It's important during this tutorial that you have the data model or the information model, the schema if you want, of the graph database that comes with OrientDB um, in front of you. So you might want to print out the blog entry where this video originated that has exactly this model in there. I mentioned in the blog text that uh, you have to understand the concept of a graph and that a graph consists of uh, vertices and, and edges and um, let me just give you a very quick demo here just so you can follow some of the things that that I'm doing. Let's start off by discussing what a vertex is. One of the pieces of information that we're going to manipulate is the artist Garcia. Garcia is handled as a as a vertex in the database. A vertex has a set of properties. Uh, one of them is the ID, which is called RID or record ID in OrientDB. It also has a class, which in this case is just called V for vertex. And it has a name and it has a type. Um, just name value pairs. I'm going to shrink the vertex Garcia so we only see its name. The database also contains another cluster of information that represents one of the songs that Garcia sung uh, in one of the performances and it's called Hey Bo Diddly. And I'm going to draw that also as a vertex. Another thing we want to store in our database is a relationship between Garcia and um, Hey Bo Diddly. Garcia was the singer of Hey Bo Diddly and we want to know in the number of performances also that where we know that Garcia sung Hey Bo Diddly. And this we're going to store as an edge. And an edge is basically a relationship between um, Garcia here, or this instance of an edge is a relationship between Garcia and the song Hey Bo Diddly. But on the edge we can also store properties. An edge, although bidirectional of nature, has a single label. Therefore, it's important to have some concept of direction on an edge. This particular edge, as it's done in the database we will study, has a uh, is said to go out of Hey Bo Diddly and into Garcia, and it has the name Song By. That's about all you need to know to understand the queries here. Uh, one thing that is a, a pretty constant got you here is the concept of in and out of edges. Um, there's also two different ways in OrientDB that you can query uh, the database. You can use a document um, API to query and you can use a graph API. I'll probably mix them up a little bit in the tutorial. I assume that you already sat through the first tutorial. So we're going to start up in, um, in the studio and log in as a reader simply. So just connect to the database which gives us this query window where we can play around with queries. Well, let's start with some very trivial one, very SQL-like, of course. Uh, in fact, this language is called SQL even in OrientDB. So select star from V. Interesting here that we use V, which is the only type that is instantiated in this database. It's very graph-oriented, V here being a vertex. And uh, we can see all the objects that are in the database. Uh, it's a page result. In this case, I clicked on Garcia. We see that he has the ID um, 9, 8, 9 column 8, 9 here being the cluster, 8 being the ID within the cluster. We see that it has a couple of, or a set of incoming and outgoing, uh, actually all incoming edges for write what is written and what is sung. We can also store, we can search for him directly. We could, for instance, do select star from V where uh, uh, and uh, at ID uh, RID equals uh, pound nine eight, and we can see Garcia here. So that's correct. We looked up Garcia. So very trivial here. Select all. Select one with a particular ID. We can also uh, query a little bit more sophisticated queries, I guess. Uh, in the where clause, we could, for instance, ask for the type. And here I'm asking for all the vertices that are of type artist. I noticed here that they use type 
um, which is just an arbitrary text field, which was not in the data model that I, I showed in the uh, blog entry. So um, if you haven't seen that, you probably need to take a look at that blog entry. And we can query all the, the songs and we'll see, in this case, we only get the songs that Grateful Dead has, has performed. Okay, um, a few other things. We could uh, do another um, addition to the where query here. Say we want to know where a song was performed more than 10 times. That would be trivial. Um, so here we see the performances or the song that had been performed more than 10 times, some of them over a thousand times, which is pretty impressive. Okay, there is nothing that we've seen that you haven't already seen in a relational database and we can continue with some familiar constructs like for instance a count query um, let's just count all the songs if we execute that we will get a result this result is uh, well you know the number of songs that we have we can also query all the artists for instance see how many artists we have in the database again nothing we haven't seen before we can see the count it's very similar to what you've seen in the relational database. And that is one of the beauties of the SQL interface to OrientDB. It should be very familiar to most of us. But now let's say we want to do something more interesting. I'm going to pick up in the history of query where we search for Garcia. But let's say we know, want to know all the songs that he's sung. Um, this is done quite different in OrientDB. Then we would typically use something called traverse. So we would traverse the graph we will we want to start at the object that we found Garcia we want to in other words we want to traverse from Garcia and so we're selecting Garcia and we want to traverse a particular edge type and in this case I want to look at the incoming edges for sung by and if I execute that I should find all the songs that Garcia has uh, sung but notice on the top that I also have Garcia in other words, I also get the artist because that was one of the nodes that I traversed. Um, but anyway, let's look into the 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 songs, make sure it's correct. And yes, if I go and look at that one of the songs and I look at who sung it, it is what I expected. Um, but if what if I wanted to remove Garcia? Um, that would be an interesting one. I lost my query here, so I'm going to just write it one more time traverse in song by from select star from V where uh, the RID is uh, 98 I think it was and um, if I execute that notice that on one of the results is Garcia right and I want to remove that and then just to show you the uh, typical query here so I want to remove Garcia um, I can't remove him because it's the root so he will be traversed but what I can do is I can select from the objects that are traversed. Um, uh, I can select from that traversal where the type is uh, is song, right? So we remove the the artist, and if I do that, we should now no longer see Garcia in our list of results. Okay, so that's a fairly typical uh, way of querying um, the the database sort of flipping between selects and, and traversal. But let's do something slightly more complicated. We wanted to know um, what songs did Garcia, or who wrote the songs that Garcia sung. Well, what we could do is again, traverse from the selection of songs that we know, or the result that we know return all the songs that Garcia sung, traverse from those nodes and um, and what we should do is traverse out the um, the out in this case um, because the ed edges are starting in the song, so out written by, uh, and uh, and get back that result. So if we execute that, let's see what we get. Now we'd expect to get all the songs I traversed and also the artist that wrote these songs. And that's exactly right. So we here have a mix of the songs and and the artist. And I really only wanted to know the artist that had written songs that Garcia sung. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Tongue twister. Anyway, uh, select star from. And again, I could filter on type just to make it simple here. 
um, from uh, the set that we saw where type equals uh, artist. And that should give me the uh, response that I wanted. For those of you that already have had some exposure to the graph query API of, of OrientDB, you will notice that I can write this query a lot simpler. But anyway, let's study the result. Um, these are all the authors of songs sung by Garcia. And uh, we'll notice that it includes Garcia himself, of course. He wrote he wrote some of the songs he sung. Well, next, I'll show you a, a little bit more elegant way of, of writing this query using the Graph API. When I was creating queries in this tutorial, I was primarily using the document API. And that's why I had to write in underscore and so on. I thought I might be uh, easier so we can build out the queries one by one here. But I'll show you how to do this more effectively using the Graph API. And uh, let's take that same query and simplify. Try not to confuse you too much. So let me first show you that the out underscore written by could also have been written as out parenthesis written by. And similarly, the in underscore sung by could have been written as in sung by. This is a more graph oriented way of doing it. And I'm just going to do that simple um, refactoring first so you can see that it means the same thing. Okay, so that shows that I can basically um, use in or out in the name of the vertex. And I had to show you this because the way I'm going to write the query now is quite different from what you've seen before. The way I'm going to write the query now is in a, in a pure graph form. So what I'm going to do is basically start at the root node, which is um, 908. And I'm going to do a query from this this uh, this root node. And uh, I'm going to just write it real quick here and then explain it to you. So I'm going to do select um, uh, expand, sorry, expand uh, in uh, sung by out written by and then I guess that should be it. Now let's talk about this query real quick. So the select fine from 98 so this is basically our root and then we expand um, and this is way too much for this course or this tutorial but let me just uh, again explain it. So I'm basically saying from 98 navigate the sung by incoming edges called sung by and then continue out the written by from whatever objects you find there right and then expand it uh, this should yield the same result let's see actually it yields a little bit more because it's going to have quite a few duplicates so I, what i would do here is i basically say i don't want to get everyone i want to get the set of these this will basically remove all duplication. So if I do this, this will be exactly the same query as we saw before. Quite a bit more elegant, um, probably a little more further away or a little further away from what you used to from a relational database. So I decided to go down the document route in, in this tutorial. Perhaps I'll make another tutorial later that focus more on the graph features of, of Orient DB. Anyway, so this is a much more elegant and also actually most likely better performing query than the long query I wrote earlier. Well, that concludes this video. Um, and please leave comments so we can improve these videos for the future. Thank you very much for listening.